unidentified flying object. That's what people reported seeing on March of 1982, circling the sky over San Francisco. At least a half dozen people say they saw a UFO near the Golden Gate Bridge this morning. A cluster of lights was first spotted by one commuter crossing the bridge just after 6 a.m. It looked neon, and uh, it was just kind of hovering, and it looked like a big white wing, you know, to me. Each year, hundreds of people claim to see UFOs. Most are eventually identified. This particular object turned out to be an advertising plane, which is frequently mistaken for a UFO. When people do see things in the sky that mystify them, who can they turn to? Publicly, government agencies claim no interest in UFO sightings. This leaves a few small private organizations the task of investigating the literally hundreds of UFO sightings every year. These organizations are small and have tiny budgets and are staffed by volunteers who must investigate these eyewitness reports in their spare time. Tom Page is a high school astronomy teacher in Northern California. On weekends and whenever time allows, he's a field investigator for the Mutual UFO Network, one of the largest groups in the country. One of his more recent cases involves a young pilot from Novato, California. Shannon Davis is a flight instructor who has logged over 3,000 hours in the air, 600 of those at night. His sighting on the night of November 5, 1980, is typical of the 5 to 10 percent that remain unidentified. I noticed the light off of my left wing at about the 7 o'clock position of the airplane. And because I was in radar contact with Oakland Center, because of the IFR flight, I asked them how close that aircraft was from us, and they said that they didn't show anything on radar out there. Then I noticed that it pulled up alongside my left wing. It was a bullet shape rounded at the front that widened out and then tapered to a point at the end. But one of the things I really wondered about it is around the main body, the center, but just past the nose, there was a ring spinning around it. And it did a couple of things simultaneously. What happened is the pulsation quickened up on the nose and the whole thing went to a very bright color. At the same time, the ring seemed to spin faster till that whole ring disappeared. And with a matter of seconds, the brightness of the object appeared to be just like a glowing bright fireball. And I kind of jumped because at first I was, I guess I was thinking of some kind of missile that was detonating. And the thing took off forward and it shot out to forward of the nose. I estimated about two or three miles ahead of the aircraft. And it made an instantaneous 90 degree right angle turn and it went vertical until it went up out of sight. And I sat there looking at it and I didn't know what to think. Five minutes later, Shannon saw the object again and it repeated the same pattern. Only this time, two pilots flying in the opposite direction also saw the UFO. 